Hi, in this video for my beginner's guide I continue with GIMP 2.8 preferences and the next tab is default image except the quick mask option here the rest of the options are going to affect the file new option I'm going to click on advanced options to expand this dialog and you see here that the numbers in both dialogs are identical now have in mind that this may not always be true and I'm going to give you an example if I change the width here to let's say 200 pixels and click OK I'm going to create an image with this size and then when I go to file new you see that GIMP remembers my previously uh, created image settings and uh, now I'm going to have a width here of 200 pixels so if you want to go back to the defaults that are uh, set in preferences here just click reset same thing will happen if you open a digital photograph and then go to file new to create a new image you see here the width and height of the digital photograph and not the width and height set here in the default image preferences so let's discuss the options and the first one is template you can select here from uh, various templates that come with GIMP also you can select from templates that you have uh, previously created I've talked about this in a previous video if you're interested you can find it in my channel next we have image size width and height in pixels we can change them to be in inches millimeters and other metric systems here also we can select to be a portrait or a landscape and of course we can change the numbers of the width and height in advanced options we have X and Y resolution 72 pixels per inch you don't need to change this number unless you're planning on printing your work in that case you need to change it to 300 pixels per inch I talked about this in a video where I explained how to print very small text so if you even go here to the templates you'll see that those that are for printing have 300 pixels per inch X and Y resolution and uh, again you can change the metric system to be pixels per millimeters for example and so on in the color space we have two options RGB color space and grayscale RGB is the one that you want to use most of the time and with grayscale you can create black and white images with various shades of gray but it also comes in handy in other situations for example if you want to create a custom brush you want to use this color space because if you use the RGB color space you are going to create a brush that will only paint with black and white you will not be able to change the color of the brush let's move on to the next option fill with and by default it's the background color which is white so every time you start a new image you'll see that image is filled with white you can change that by going here and select for example the foreground color which is black you can also change it to white transparency and you might be wondering why do we have white two times well that's because we can actually change the default foreground and background color by going to the next tab default grid and you see here we have the ability to do that but I'm going to discuss this in the next video now let's go back to default image and you can leave a comment here created with GIMP or you can remove this or change it to something else last option is quick mask color and the option is over here if I turn it on you will see this uh, red kind of a pink color it looks like pink because it's semi transparent I'm going to turn it off grab the brush tool and paint a little bit like this so you can see better that this is actually semi transparent and this quick mask is used to make selections with the brush tool or to visualize better the selection uh, for example if I switch the foreground and background color now and paint with white I'll be making a selection if I turn off the mask you'll see that I have a selection if I undo this and use one of the other tools to make a selection turn the quick mask on you'll see that the selected area is indicated uh, with transparency and the not selected area is indicated with a semi uh, transparent pink color so basically from here you can change the color to something else if you don't like the red color you can change it to let's say green for example and then of course you need to click OK 
and I think that for this one you need to restart game to take effect and also this quick mask uh, is used for other stuff but that's a topic for another video I hope that this one was useful if it was subscribe like it leave a comment and that's it for now bye